This is Denver Police Department case number 2001-3748, which is the cold case homicide investigation of Thad Tigges, which occurred on January 25th, 2001, sometime after 5.30 p.m. Thad Tigges was shot and killed in his home, and he was pronounced deceased on scene. My name is Phyllis Tigges, and I am the mother of Thad Tigges. He was a very active child uh, from day one. He liked BMX bikes. Then it changed into motocross, and then he got into skiing, snowboarding. He just loved the outdoors. On January 25th, 2001, at approximately 6.30 p.m., a neighbor called 911 after finding Thad Tigges unresponsive here in his home in this Northwest Denver neighborhood. Once the 911 call was placed, the Denver Fire Department, the Denver Police Department, and the Denver Health Medical Center paramedics responded to Thad's home. Thad had been shot multiple times and unfortunately was pronounced deceased on the scene. That was the worst day of my life. Um, it was at exactly 11.42 when my other son, Rodney, called me on the phone and he says, Mom, he says, I have some bad news for you. And I says, what's wrong? And he said, Dad has been shot and he's dead. And I, I just fell to the ground. I screamed. And after that, I just, I just kept crying and saying, no, it can't be true. No, it can't be true. But it was. There's actually two tragedies in this case. Of course, the primary one is that Thad Tigges was so violently taken from his family at such a young age. The second tragedy is that 23 years later, there's no information that will help us solve this case. I think the big thing that's missing is the courage of that one or two people that know what happened to come forward and tell us. I know with all my heart that there is someone out there who knows or who did it that they please look into their heart, their soul, have a conscience, and come forward. Through the family, there is a $100,000 reward being offered. You can call in with any information that you think is helpful for this case, and you can remain anonymous. All I know is I want his murders put in prison that would help to relieve some of the pain that we have because it's a hurt that never, ever goes away. 